What's up? So I'm back with another custom video today and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I'm doing a custom pair of black jeans for my boy that's stationed over in the UK for the Air Force. So first off, I got to go buy the jeans from the mall. That's where we're headed right now. And then second, I'm going to go to a few different stops in Roanoke so I can see if I can find some like cool hats that have Air Force logos on them and stuff like that that I can use in the custom. So let's go. All right, so I'm back from the mall and we got the jeans. So they're right here. They're a slim black pair of non-distressed jeans from H&M. And I did go to a few spots around the city. I even went to the Veterans Hospital to see if I could find some Air Force stuff in the canteen. And I did find a few things, but nothing really stood out to me. And like, I didn't think it was gonna look too great on the jeans. So we're gonna be using my embroidery machine today and a few different pieces of tackle twill and patches to make these jeans look dope. All right, y'all, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to my warehouse right now and see if I can find some cool patterns like some army green or like some digi camo that I can use with this. We headed up to the warehouse and I'm set. Ah, you about to wreck the whip. Damn, Jordy. All right, so what we're looking at right here is one of the warehouses that we just bought. And so it's packed full right now with inventory, but this area right here is where I'm going to be shooting my new videos. This is going to be sort of like my little office, but me and my mom are actually going to renovate this right now. So let's go. What in the world? All right, y'all, so we're back. It is the next day, and the office is just about how I want it to be. So I'm going to give you all a little tour. So first off, over here, we've got all of our vinyl pieces. That's from printing things on shirts and anything like that with that involves vinyl. And then next over here, we've got some of the vintage gear that I have right now in stock, and then also some pieces that I'm going to be using with customs. And then over here is my favorite part. So I've got this big whiteboard now that I can draw out designs that I'm gonna be doing on the jeans. So I can show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And then over here, we've got the embroidery station where I'm gonna be stitching in patches, restitching jeans, anything like that. And then over here, we've got the distressing station where I'm gonna be doing all the distressing to the jeans, ripping them, cutting them, anything like that. And then we've got my desk right here where I'm gonna be communicating to customers through emails. I'm gonna be doing anything that's technology wise on the computer like editing videos and stuff like that and then this is very dirty right now because we have a ridiculous amount of inventory but this is sort of our inventory stock right now and over here I've got some packages that are not even open yet from things like windbreakers from Charles Rivers anything like that that you can think of but so we got inventory all over here, and then we've got this little office space that I'll be able to use to shoot these videos for you guys. All right, so right now, I'm creating on my embroidery machine a USAF patch of tackle twill that I'm gonna be using somewhere on the jeans. All right, so the patch is done being printed onto the tackle twill, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out in a rectangular shape, and I'm gonna press this onto a fabric, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this camo from a pair of shorts that I had. I'm gonna press this on top of it, and then I'm gonna do slits so the camo is seeping through. And I'm gonna have that across the quad, but I'm actually gonna cut this out and cut this out, and I'm gonna make a new part of this jean right here. So. All right, so now I got this cut out, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around the quad, but I'm gonna cut the jean out right here and here, all the way around, and then I'm gonna use this fabric like I was talking about. And I'm actually gonna make this part of the jean. So this part's gonna come completely out. All right, so now that we got this cut out to match the size of the tackle twill, we need to go heat press it and get it ready to stitch in. All right, so while I'm prepping the other piece of tackle twill to be ready to get stitched in, I'm doing another pattern on this piece of tackle twill so that I can use this somewhere else on the jeans. All right, so as you guys can tell, I decided to put this on a different fabric because I've got a different concept that I wanna incorporate into the jeans. But now we also have this patch that I'm going to use for the kneecap and then I'm going to incorporate this American flag somewhere and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this yet. But now the next step is I need to go back and stitch these letters in. Alright, so now that we've got it stitched down, we now need to cut this to be the exact same size as the jean that we cut out. Alright, so now we've got it pinned up and now I'm going to go back and stitch it back into the jeans. So I'm done stitching this back in and this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done with the customizations but it was so worth it because it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. So you got the USAF and it wraps all the way around the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate the knee patch and I think I'm going to do that on this knee. So I took a pair of shorts out of my own closet, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this big pocket out, and I'm going to run it over the right knee. So I've got the pocket cut out, but now I'm going to sew this American flag onto it. So 
Now that we've got that and we've also got our other knee pinned in, now we need to go back and sew both of them in. All right, y'all, so the customs are all done, and instead of doing a regular reveal like I've done in my other videos, I'm actually going to do them on me because fortunately me and my customer wear the same size, so I'm actually going to do a video of me wearing them right now. Alright y'all, so that's going to wrap it up for this custom video, but if you guys are wondering how you guys can get custom pieces made by me, the best way to reach me is through my Instagram DMs, that's going to be in the link in the end, and also through my website on the custom gear page. There's a template that you guys can fill out and it'll send all the information straight to me and give me your guys contact info so that I can reach out to you guys and we can get you guys started on a custom piece.